So last year after the orthopedic surgeon was shot in Tulsa, my hospital actually did consider putting in metal detectors or having a security guard who would kind of wand patients as they walked into the hospital or the clinic. I remember this well because I was chief of the department and there were actually at least one or two patients who were probably a credible threat of bringing a weapon into our clinic and causing violence. So I followed this debate pretty closely and eventually they did not end up putting in any metal detectors or having security guards who were going to wand people as they came on in. And there were a number of reasons why they didn't end up doing this. One of that was cost because it's very expensive to put in metal detectors or pay someone to stand there with a metal detector. There was also a concern of the message it sent to have things like metal detectors and security guards at the door. And finally, I think what was probably the nail in the coffin is that although there are high profile murders of doctors and nurses and things like this every year in our country, which is crazy, statistically, it's really, really rare that it actually happens. Because we live in America, we're probably going to see this on a regular basis. But statistically, the chance of it happening at a particular hospital or a particular clinic is probably quite low. You're much more likely to have the common violence like physical assaults and sexual harassment and all these things that healthcare workers deal with on a daily basis. But I remember in our hospital at that time, there was a lot of fear after their orthopedic surgeon was murdered in Tulsa, and all we wanted was to feel safe in our place of work. And all over the country now, I bet doctors and nurses and other healthcare workers just also want to feel safe where they work. So I get it. In our country, healthcare is a business, and at the end of the day, you have to balance the books, right? But I think it is only fair that healthcare workers feel safe in their place of work. And if that takes spending money on metal detectors and security guards, I absolutely think hospitals should do it. I'm Dan the Doranian Doctor. I'm a urologic surgeon and real estate investor. Follow for more.